Okay. So we have some new items coming to the Crown Store as part of the Witches Festival. Um, also some new items for the uh, furnishings area that you can buy for crowns inside your home editor. So I figured I'd just show those and give you guys a little preview of what's to come in the near future. So we'll go ahead and start with what's in the uh, furnishings area. Okay. So you come in here through your house editor. And then you go to browse and it only starts you here. You just go over to purchase to find the crown items. And there's a lot of stuff in here that's labeled new that isn't necessarily new. For example, this is labeled new. This is on the PTS, by the way. Um, Hagrid and Alter Alchemical. And this is not new. You can buy this right now, today, in the Crown Store. On live. So that's not actually new. But there are a few things that are new. For example, uh, this one isn't actually new, new, but right now you cannot buy it through this menu on live. But it's on the PTS, so I'm assuming that it will be coming soon. And uh, the next one that we have is this. It's a throne. It's the replica throne, throne, rather, of Eleanor. It's pretty nice. Not necessarily anything to do with the witches' festival, but it's new and it's in there. And also have in here under enchanted lights. Um, this is in here. This isn't necessarily new. I have one in my house right now. On live. But I didn't see it available to purchase through this menu, so I figured I'd just show it. And it's kind of cool. I like that it has a green light effect, and it's actually a pretty wide area of light. So again, that's not new, per se, but I don't think you can purchase it right now. And on PTS, they have available to purchase. There's also these luminescent mushrooms. I'm not sure if these are actually new or if they're just a returning item. I don't have any. I don't recall seeing any, but they're pretty cool. Then we go to lanterns, and these are really cool. They're little pumpkins, little jack-o'-lanterns. So I thought that was really cool. I don't know if they had those last year, but I certainly don't have any, and I don't recall ever seeing any in anybody's house. So that looks really cool. So you got your standard jack o' lantern. Um, another item that's labeled new. I don't recall having ever seen it, and it's not currently available on live. Is this sconce? And again, not necessarily witches festival related. In fact, it's just Nord sconce. But it looks cool. We also have, under Sweet and Bathing Goods, the Regal Sauna Pool 2-Person. And, again, <laughs> not necessarily 
which is festival related, but you can't buy it right now on live, but here it is on the PTS. So when that's coming, I don't know, it might not be part of the Witches Festival, it might be something coming up, but I thought it was interesting. And then we have a few things under Undercroft that are almost certainly Witches Festival related. Um, here's another example. This is labeled new. This is not new. You can buy it right now in this same menu on live. I don't know how much it costs off the top of my head. I'd have to look, but everything on PTS is one crown. But under grave goods, we have these, which actually are new. Some gravestones. So if you wanted to build your own personal cemetery, this would be a nice addition for that. We have the clover engraving. This one, which is cracked. And then we have this one, the imp engraving. Which I think is pretty cool. That pretty much covers the new stuff coming to this portion of the uh, Crown Store. There are some other items, and we'll go ahead and go over those. Unfortunately, they are not on PTS right now, so we'll have to check them out on the website, which we'll do right now. Okay. So. These are some of the items that are coming to the Crown Store for the Witches Festival or around the Witches Festival. And a lot of these are returning items. But let me just go over them real quick. And again, I don't have any way to showcase them to you in game right now because it's not on PTS. But the first item we have is uh, a house, actually. Um, it's not one of the larger houses. If they put it on the PTS, then I'll do a video to show you what it looks like. But this is a returning item. Um, these have been available previously for a limited duration. And I just don't know anybody that actually owns one to show it to you. But <clears throat> just a little house, not a lot to it. Little shack like you see in the picture, and then a little surrounding courtyard. I don't remember how much it costs. I don't think it was very expensive though. And then we have these new mounts. And uh, they're shadow ghost mounts. That was the Sench or Senche, however you say that. There's the horse. The Guar. And the Wolf. Then we have the cosmetic items. The Executioner's Mask. that one. And this one. And again, those are all returning items. These have been available in the game before. Uh, they're not currently available for purchase, but they were there. There's a new motif, or it's not new, but a motif that if you don't already have you can purchase called the Grim Harlequin and this was available last year so if you didn't get it last year now's your chance whenever it comes up again 
that's the house. And then it goes over the mounts individually. Uh, another returning item, the zombie horse. And the very popular zombie personality. It's actually pretty cool. I like it. That was available also. But if you didn't get it last time, you can get it this time. Then we have pets. The basically the shadow ghost equivalent of pets. <coughs> And the Dade Rat. And there's also a Polymorph, the Werewolf Lord Polymorph. And all of that stuff, including this Pumpkin Spectre, again, was available last year. And the Scarecrow Spectre. And we've already looked at those. And then we have the Hollow Jack Crown Crates. Uh, <clears throat> again, these aren't available on PTS for me to show you. So, unfortunately, I don't have any of these items in game to show you, but some of them are really cool. This one, what is it called? The Hollow Jack Rider Horse. It's actually really cool. And for my money, the best pet in the game. The Demon Cockerel. <laughs> I foresee a lot of those guys running around following people in the future. <clears throat> and then we have the Crested Reef Viper Pet and the Hollow Jack Flame Skull Furnishing. And that just looks cool. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have the uh, the extremely rare mounts. These are the ones that you almost never see. And that one is what is it called? The Daedra Skull Wolf and the Hollow Jack. Flame Skull Cinch. So there's the wolf, and that just looks cool. Looks really cool, actually. I like that a lot. And then that one, also pretty cool. And then this one, my personal favorite. It says the Hollow Jack Wraith Lantern Steed. It's very nice. And then we have this little guy, the Hollow Jack Netch. He is not available inside the Crown Crates. Uh, as it says here, you can pick up the Hollow Jack Netch for 300 crown gems. So, <clears throat> you can cash in those gems to get you a really cool little Netch who's been playing a little too much in the pumpkin patch. And that's it for the crown crates. So there's a lot of new stuff coming in pretty soon. <coughs> uh, with the Witches Festival, I believe the Witches Festival starts October 20th. So not too far away. 
but these are the items that you can get with crowns and crown crates. Um, some of it I like, some of it not so much, but I'm definitely getting this guy. It's a must have. Alrighty, well, thanks for watching and uh, I hope it gave you something to look forward to. I wish I had more to show you in game. Unfortunately, there's just not a lot to show right now. And I'm not sure if they're going to put it on PTS for me to be able to show you with such a limited time between now and when they release these items. But I wanted to show you because I thought a lot of that stuff was pretty cool. Anyway, have a good day.